Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Yamshai, Bashim Makakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders that rule well at Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the Akiya Mordea, pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Shalom to the nation of Israel. Right, come on, with this lesson. Now entitle it Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. You know, so let me get into it. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3. It said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Most High, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right, so we understand that this is plain. This has no, this has, this is, this doesn't need any breakdown, you know, you gotta break down this. This is, is plain. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You know, as the scripture says, yeah, what Shai said, I think we're fully paraphrasing the castle of the Mosai and Mammon. You know, see, so you can two gods. You understand? You have to serve one part, you serve in your Bashim or you serve in these idols. Right? And I want to show this here. And the reason for this is that, you know, to show you how lost our people is. Right, they would read, they would read, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And then go in a Catholic church, surrounded by these, these statues here. Yeah. Right? Surrounded by, by Edomites. They would wear this. They would wear this in earrings, the necklace. And cut bracelet. They would hang this up on their walls. Right? And the scripture said, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. But for some reason, they believe that they have to wear this. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 28 And there ye shall serve gods The work of men's hands Wood and stone Which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell Alright Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 And the Mosai shall scatter thee among all people From the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even a wood and stone. And what is this here? Right? Um, what did I have up by? Right. Are you people going to the, to the whole house and say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. You know, I remember for school um, every morning, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Right? Us, and they used to say, you know, we're asking Mary to pray for us as if Mary is a mediator. When the scriptures say that Yahweh Shai is immediately to the Mosai Yahweh, you know, and our people are fully committed in worshiping this, right? Do you remember the name of this thing? Yeah? 
All right. This is the next thing, the Kaaba stone. They worship this. And ship your savior would worship these things in wood and stone. Right? And our people follow after these these religions. That is show the strong delusion that is upon them. You understand? Even of some of our people in um In this next dumb religion, right? And they hang up these pictures on the wall, on the wall, and you know, thing like that. And they worship these things. Our oh, people worship all the all these these idols. Our oh, people worship these idols. You have um. You have those that worship the sun. Right? You have those that worship the moon. And the stars. You have those that worship mother nature. Um, the sea. Our people do exactly what the Most High said not to do. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Or the likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Our people worship the creation, not the creator. You know, they worship Mary. Right? You know, all, all these things that they have in their imagination. It have some of them that they say that the black woman is God. You know? Um, and <laughs> our people go crazy for Greek gods, you know, Zeus and Poseidon, and you know they would dive deep into the the history of these these gods, and they would believe it, right? They would worship these gods. They would take all their time and study, you know, these gods and the Greek history and, you know, but they wouldn't take the time to learn their own history. They wouldn't take the time to learn about the Mosai, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh, Shai. They wouldn't take the time to learn about the a Hebrew Israelites. You understand? When said the delusion so strong that they will lead them. You understand? And then you have you have um you have this and I think out of all you know, the images that are shown and thing. This one is rampant. You know, you meet somebody, they ask you, where is your horoscope? Because apparently they believe that you, they could just know exactly who you are by knowing what month you were born in. Or people take pride in these things. Or people take Pride and say, well, I'm an Aries or I'm a Libra. Libra, you know, Libra don't go good with this one. You know, Libra do when they tip that skin, you understand? Know, like, real retarded, you know? Run off now, boy. Right, you uh, have people, you know, they go out and they buy um, necklaces with these um, symbols on them. They, 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 f they read that, you know, well, this month is for the Liberals, yeah, if you're a liberal, you can find love this month, and they go after these things. You know, they, they, all people are into sorcery, right? And this bring up our next point in my head that all people, anytime they they see in trouble, 
they just run to witches. You understand? Sorcerers. You know? They just run to these people instead of going to the moon. Well, they don't even know you're about to me outside. You know? They run to these these things. They run to these idols. They run to the to the um, supposed only person that could help them. You understand this they will be a man and the witch whoever. They run to these things now boy. You understand? And this they so believe that hey, this will be a man have all the knowledge in the world. He could tell the future, he could do this, he could do that. But why why he don't know who's Yao Bashim Yao Shai? Why he don't know to, who's the Israelites and to keep the laws, statutes and commandments and how to live and all these things? Why he don't know them thing? Right? Brethren, don't take this truth for granted. You have the greatest gift on the earth right now. You have the ability to see. You understand the ability to hear, the ability to understand right from wrong. The most I chose you. And bestow upon you a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that nobody ever had in the past. You understand? You and I, Lord willing, we are the chosen. Hopefully, like you and I, right now, we could actually see the times. Right? We could actually see the times. We could actually see. Well, hey, um, the mark of the um, the mark of the beast. You understand? We could actually look into the prophecies where the Old Testament, the New Testament. You understand? We basically have everything we need. You know? Some the prophets and them, some the things that they were seeing and prophesying, they didn't understand. You know? They didn't really know what they was prophesying at times. You and I know we could see, we could know that, hey, the UFO is the chariot of the Mosai. Or you and I could know that, you know, they describe the, the nukes as arrows. You and I could know that that is, that is um, the ICBM missiles. And it's on World War Three, and nuclear destruction, nuclear warfare. You understand? The Mosai gave us more knowledge we have more knowledge than we have ever had on this earth right so do do take it for granted the most i give you next chance you know with that the so business was edifying you know what points come across you know to edify the, the nation Give all praises on and glory unto the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Akakadash Shalom.